G'day guys, thank you for tuning back into Albatross Barbecue. When the sun's out, get your barbie out. That's what I say. Today I'm going to be cooking on this new barbecue. It's a $200 barbecue and I got it on clearance for $20. Any barbecue for 20 bucks is well worth giving it a go. So for its maiden voyage, I want it to be something special. And what I've got today is a grade nine scotch fillet. This thing looks absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to put it on the barbecue. Stay tuned, thanks for watching. Here's our scotch fillet. What makes it grade nine is the intermuscular fat and the marbling which is throughout the piece of meat. You should make it tender and juicy. So before I go and prepare the piece of meat, let's fire up our coals. So grab your chimney, throw some coals in there, heat it up. It'll take around 20 to 30 minutes to get these coals nice and warm. With this piece of steak, I'm going to let the meat be the hero. So I'm not going to over season it. Simply just some salt and pepper on both sides. Not a huge amount, just enough to give it some additional flavor. I want to taste the reason why this is grade nine beef. Whilst this meat is resting, I'm going to hook up the Therm Pro to the new barbecue. I'm learning this now, so I want to know the temperature of the grill when it's at a top level, as well as when it's on the lower level. Once your coals are warm enough, put them in the barbie. I don't need too many coals, it's only going to be using up a small space today. But what I wanted to do is throw on a couple of cherry chunks as well, just to get a little bit of smokiness throughout this meat. Now that your grill is warm, grab your piece of meat, put it on the barbecue. To go with this meal as a side dish, I decided to do a few swaggy chips. She's smoking away beautifully. To make sure that this piece of meat is cooked evenly, I decided to turn it every five to six minutes. The temperature of this grill was around 225 degrees Fahrenheit, which is brilliant for low and slow cooking. So I just left it, monitored it, and then once I hit 125 degrees internal, I decided to lower it so I could start searing. First time I'm using this grill, and it came down with a bit of a bang. I lost a swaggy chip. May it rest in peace. However, lesson learned, just do it a little bit more slowly next time. As soon as I went down to the lower level, this thing really started to crank up the heat. So what I did was just move it to the side to get that meat off of the direct heat for a little bit. I started prodding. It was 140 degrees. It was perfect. It was showtime. All right guys, this is super, super juicy. It's been sitting and resting here now for about 10 minutes. The swaggies are done. So total cook time was about half an hour. It was about 20 to 25 minutes when I had it on the higher level. And when I dropped it down, it cooked really quickly to get to 140 degrees Fahrenheit internal or 60 degrees Celsius. Let's cut this up and have a look. The juice is absolutely hopping out. It's probably more medium than medium rare, if I'm being honest, which is all right. Depends how you like your steak. Let's give this a try, see what it tastes like. Is it worth spending the extra money for a grade nine piece of Wagyu?
I'll tell you what, that is absolutely beautiful. It is arguably the juiciest steak I've ever had. Cooked beautifully. I like it a little bit more on the medium side, but I do do medium rare as well. The flavor of that steak is so good. So, so good. Would I buy it every week? No. Is it a treat? Yes. Am I glad that I treated myself? God, yes. I'm gonna finish the rest of this. You guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Look after yourselves and stay healthy. Tender, juicy, delicious. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.